Hey everyone, oh. I'm Alfred and welcome back to Drunk's Dungeon. Uh Wow, that's everyone, huh? Shit. I'm burning through people, but I'm not replacing them quick enough. One thing that's a little disheartening about having to constantly get new fresh guys is I want to make progress is the thing. Oh, man. No way. Yeah, that is not happening. Um. What the hell was I talking about? Actually, we should go to the Warn. Yeah. Um. So yeah, one thing that is just like fucking just plain goddamn disheartening is that sometimes it is just like really hard to like want to train up a new team of guys. Because, like, you'll train up, like, three teams of, of guys, and you'll get them all up to a high level. That's 12 people, man. Even the fiercest beast will lay down when it is not eaten. Steal their food. <laughs> Hell yeah, Wayne. Uh, so this is a character I haven't used before, Finding the leper. Is only the first test. Um, I think he home. counts as religious, and he pairs well with, um, some other, uh, guys. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but yeah, he has miserable accuracy, but he's crazy strong. So, take it out, what you will. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. So yeah, some people are like he he goes with the Crusader, you know. Put a Crusader here, and you put or you put Leper here and Crusader right behind him. And you're good to go. Executed with, with impunity. horrors brought low and driven into the mud oh wow that's great and he's even a character that does damage sometimes even better not dealing with that I don't know if I actually brought up what the hell that thing is um putting a torch in there will extinguish the light level completely and activate an optional mini boss I say mini boss, but like it is a fucking boss. Like it, it is, it is a for real challenge. It is not something to be fucked around with. Um, and I feel as though I should ignore that for now. Uh, cause you know you saw how bad a, an optional boss fucked me up. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in so we've blood. got one of the three grain sacks. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and we're gonna need a lot of deeds alike. coming up. So yeah, I think there are some characters that count as religious, but are not included in the list given by the one thing. Um which is fine. God damn it. This is what the leper is really good for. Because he only hits the front row. He's dumb as shit. He's inaccurate. Injury. Palpable fear. He's really, really... Thank you. 
I don't know, something. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, this is what the leper's good for. You just have a fucking leper right here, you have another guy right here. Just have them fucking work on each other. <laughs> I don't think I've ever successfully used that move before. It's kind of interesting. Lead for me, yeah. See, I don't know if the Swine Chopper actually has any moves that are good. Back to the Hell pit. yeah. So what I'm also doing here is I'm trying to ensure that I have a good enough party to protect the Shield Breaker. Because what I want to do is nap, pick her, you know, get her, get her weird dreams going. Yeah, I'm still fucking like drinking from give them no quarter. All the bad things that happened last time. Cool. Can't not think of the social D song during that. Come on, man. Ball and chain. Hello. So you can see that the leper, out of the box, just is nothing but offense. He's got so high of a strength stat. He doesn't even have a full fucking sword to do it with. And you know what? That's fine. He doesn't need to worry about it anyway. If only treasure could staunch the flow. Oh yeah. Otherworldly corruption. Unsettling? No. Well, good. I had him read it. He loves getting stressed. See, it's listed as a red uh, stress thing, so like you think it's bad. But it actually isn't bad. It's a, like, it's a technically good stress thing for him. And it will freak out other people around him. Because it's kind of weird. But, um, it's a, you know, it's basically his normal nature. The wounds of war can be healed. Oh, my God. But never hidden. So whatever reason, my fucking ring light that I have that you can see now in my eyeballs. I used it during Quake as well. It has a fucking like psychic like tweak your shit out strobe light option for some fucking reason. I don't know why that's an option. I don't know why that's a fucking thing. It feels like it would just like hurt people. You know, accidentally trigger epilepsy or light sensitivity. And like, this is plugged into my computer by USB, but I think that just powers it. So I don't think I can like, fucking take that out of there with hacking. But I would like to, because that's a dumb thing to put in there. Why, why is it in there? Why, why is there a, a why, why do I need to be able to activate a fucking strobe light? This girl actually isn't too useful for this party. It's actually going kind of bad. Drums of doom. Decimated. Decimated. Howdy.
Flagellant. So yeah, Rapturous doesn't really count as its own thing. Even the aged oak will fall to the tempest's winds. Yeah, same to you, pal. Hey, that's a flower sack. I have I am in need of one of those. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Flur sack. We found two sacks. That ain't good. I wonder if there could be like a, a, a unofficial Darkest adventure. Dungeon game. Cause like when the real Rogue came out, everyone made their own fucking version of Rogue just to be like whatever, you know. This is this is our Rogue now. And I wonder if you could actually have like. Have like a rogue, you know? Or have like a darkest dungeon. And it's somebody else who made it, you know? Like what if there was like a uh like um Sorry, I'm like looking at things in my room. Like think about the banner saga. If you've never seen the Banner Saga, it's one of the, like, coolest games ever. And you should definitely look into it. But suffice to say, it's based off of, like, Viking and Scandinavian mythology, and it's, like, XCOM. So, take Viking XCOM, right? You know, it's like XCOM, but it has Vikings. So like, what if you were to just do like that, but like, like that, you know? Like, um, I mean, I've talked about this before. Like, uh, if you were to have like a Dark Souls game, and it was like Dark Souls, but instead there were like other things, Inspiration like you would replace your Dark Souls stuff with Japanese Oni. Well, you'd have Sekiro or Neo or Neo Two. Or Ghost of Tsushima. You know, samurai stuff. And and you could do that, and it would be and it's good. It's, we have We have a lot of evidence that it's good, in fact. Uh fuck. Why does that fucking happen? I didn't do anything to turn that on. It just beeps. It it's not like there's smoke in the apartment. I can't smell smoke. I don't know if there is smoke. I don't think there is. I would probably smell it, right? And there hasn't been anything cooking in here in hours. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. So how could you fucking have a smoke alarm. Well, the answer is that they probably fucking installed it wrong. Because knowing the jackass is here, they probably installed it wrong. So, uh, the leper has a few unique skills that are pretty interesting. One of them is that he takes off his fucking mask. And it, and it de-stresses him, and that's great. But it freaks out everybody else. Yeah, so he counts as religious. The light, the promise. Oh, we didn't get it. Is it because I did the thing to make a fucking ambush not happen? 
Oh well, that's fine, I guess. My fucking god, I'm so hammered. Luckily, I'm still cute, so I can still keep making videos. I mean, no one this is gonna go up. Like I said, one of the problems with doing Druggist Dungeons is that, like, I can only record so much, so, like, even if I did a lot in advance, I would still have to space the videos out, and they have to come out, like, weeks apart. Also, just because they're, like, fun to make, what I usually do with them is that I, I space them out. So, like, when the original ones came out, it was because they were coming out on the roguelikes. So, like, we didn't even, like, see them. I think I'm gonna start recruiting grave robbers. They're good. They're useful. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Well, that's how it works. I, it looks like my limit might be to record four at a time, which would make sense. Why do bandits show up in every fucking place, no matter what? I'll tell you what shows up all over the place. The fucking guys in the, the the cultist doomsayer guys, those guys are fucking everywhere. And I guess it makes sense. They're so weird that nobody like bothers with them. But like I was planning on trying to record a fifth episode and like not with getting more alcohol. Because I don't actually need one out of the hall, but like. I, uh. I'm so disheartened by Darkest Dungeon. It's so hard. I mean, sometimes I, I really wonder about, like, why it is like this, you know? Sometimes I feel like it is just so much. And like, I've never played on darkest mode is another thing. I feel like if I were to play on darkest mode and a bunch of unfair bad things happen to me, I would be like, yeah, sure, you know, that makes sense. I'm on the hard mode. Why should it be fair? No reason. Oh god, you show up everywhere too. Yeah, like, even on Radiant and normal modes, like... Nah, man. I lose more fucking things that way. And, like, I... I don't know. I just don't feel like it's fair sometimes. It'll take a high roll. And hitting him as well. That's a minor detail I missed. Real good to mention. One of the things about a really high alcoholic drink is that, like, you just, like, get yourself completely fucked up, man. Because you're just, like, drinking, you're like, mmm, tasty. Good, tasty stuff. Healthy. Good for growth, you know? And <laughs> it's just, it's just, the alcohol just comes into your body. Whether you want it to or not. 
it's in there. This expedition at least promises success. What was that? Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. In Radiance, may we find victory. I feel like I never use medicinal herbs. Dog, I need grain sacks. Please, I gotta have my grain. Every time, it's going to be begone thought. Shit. Yes. It'd be kind of nice if monsters had a thing where like they did less the more health they lost. That would make sense. I wish there were more games that used Fallout's uh, system of... Positively, you want to read it? Nonetheless. Okay. I, I I feel like Fallout, like the original Fallout's with the like limb system. Fucking great, fam. That's cool. Oh my god, is it really gonna be all the fuck you? Packs full of steel and war. But nary a thought given to the plow. I literally fucking camped. You can't do this to me. It was all the way back there. Quite a stash. Who set that trap up? I was in here 40 Why seconds ago. Steps are the exception and not the rule. Also, how are you still going to be hungry? Wouldn't you just be hungry once? I admit I don't fully know how it works. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism. But like or cowardice. Again, I've bitched about it in the past. I'll bitch about it again. The random hunger checks are stupid. I'm not playing Oregon Trail here. I'm trying to fucking play a, a video game. The match is struck. A blazing And like star the is the fact that you can take Cuz there's an actual game mechanic where you can just take fucking Random hunger checks out of the game. I think it's a building that you can build. The game just becomes more enjoyable and better. You asshole. What are you doing with that fucking torch, huh? What? Grain sack, grain sack. Where's the grain? No force of will can Fuck me. A body. Well, that's good, at least. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Like, it's like the game developer is bullying you. Like, oh, you don't have any things to make the hunger checks? Well, here's more hunger checks. 
What am I to do about it, Red Hook? How am I to solve this problem? There isn't a way around it. Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Our supplies are replenished. The soldiers will feast tonight. Luckily, I only lost like a one level dumbass. From those few surrounding Hell yeah. Hell calamity. yeah. So, when I started, I was at like week 32. Oh my god, I've killed so many people! Oh my god, there's so many fucking people. Alright, am I... Yeah. No longer suffer random hunger checks. So there is an option to just turn them the fuck off. And it makes the game better. It makes it more playable. It's better, it's more fun, it's more enjoyable. Which raises the question, why are they in there in the first goddamn place? In time, you will know the tragic extent. That's because they wanted to make the game hard artificially. And they succeeded. You're going up front. You're going here. So yeah, uh... We don't have to pay anything for these. We can just fucking cash in. Now, I don't know if we'll get this money back when we come back to the Sham Shimshar. But, like, man. What do I care if I've got to throw out a fucking package of torches? Can the defiled be consecrated? Can the fallen find rest? How many roads must a man walk down? How did they surprise you? It's a bunch of grubs. I don't even remember this move. Oh, shit. Inspiration and improvement. And improvement. I want to play Cthulhu Saves the World. I played it like once, like, honestly, 10 years ago. Uh, there's this company called, like, Z Boy Games or something. They make silly, like, RPG Maker games. <sighs> yeah, they make silly RPG Maker games. So, like, one is called Breath of Death 7. It's not the first... It's not the... It's the first and only Breath of Death game. But, like, Breath of Whatever is just such a fucking RPG name, like, Breath of Fire, Breath of the Wild. And the idea that, like, it's the seventh it's the seventh game of a franchise you've never even fucking heard of is kind of hilarious. Um, I, myself, have never played Breath of Death. But I have meant to. Laden with loot. But uh, they made a game called Cthulhu Saves the World where you play as like fucking anime Cthulhu and he has a sword and like you team up with a Cthulhu cultist. And like it's kind of fucking bananas. But you know what? It's good. It's stupid and it's fucking good. And that's enough for me. That's fine. Death by inches. 
But yeah, there's a lot of like actually cool things in Cthulhu Saves the World. Like, at some point, you'll just stop getting random encounters. And like, holy shit, what a fucking idea. That's actually really smart. So yeah, you just stop getting random encounters, right? Well, what if you're trying to level grind? Well, you just go into the menu and hit a button that says, find a fight. And you get a fight. In radiance, may we find victory. Oh, bye. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I don't really need either of these, actually. Maybe I should have waited so I could come back with empty pack. But yeah, I played Cthulhu Saves the World so fucking long ago. I remember Carelessness will I was playing it at the time that my dad was watching place. like the Super Bowl. And like some of our family were over as you as you would do. Uh and it was the Super Bowl with a power one out, so there was this like minor power outage. I forget which one it actually was. As the light gains purchase, spirits are I have like no idea which one it was. Wait, where am I? It just occurred to me, like, hey, am I in a place with fucking skeletons? Because if that's the case, why did I bring the bleed man? That'd be kind of stupid, wouldn't it? Of safety. See, the Blightman, that makes sense. Blight woman. I'm not asleep. I'm trying to open my eyes so you can see. I'm trying to open them extra wide, you see. So now I have like so many fucking things jacked into my computer. I have two external hard drives, yes. I mentioned it briefly in the Quake LP, I think. But now, yes, I actually have two external hard drives. Um, I have a mouse plugged into it. I have my webcam plugged into it. Of course, you know, I already do have a webcam, but it fucking sucks. And I don't want to use it. Like, it's the fucking stupidest thing. The webcam is at the bottom of my computer screen, and there's absolutely no way to use the webcam without looking up your own fucking chin. Like, there is no way for it to not shoot you from below, because it's at the bottom of the screen, where the, the screen meets the... Confidence where the screen meets the, the keyboard. Crumbles. And like, oh my god, it's so fucking stupid. Why would they put it there? Is it so the, the ring, the edge around the top? For second map. Is so the edge around the top can be thinner? Because I had, my first laptop had a, um, a webcam at the top of the screen. And it was a whole fucking lot better. Ambushed by foul invention. I think, yes, I know. I know my resolve is being tested. I think that if you can see the trap, you should get like a visible fucking bonus of trying Littering to disarm it. Gold, trinkets and baubles. Unless you already do. For in blood. Executed but like, impunity. Uh, whatever, man. Oh my god, he's almost dead. I like closed my eyes for like a second. People kept throwing like poison wine in his face. 
There's that prisoner's toilet wine. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Uh as the fiend Stop falls, killing him. A faint hope blossoms. blossoms. Well, no, oh, well, that makes sense. Slowly, Ugh, gently. Fuck. This is how a life is taken. Maybe I'll try to make another one of these so I can like almost turn it into a series. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. See, now if I could pop back up those fucking emerald, but I can't. Gotta get those emeralds. Dude, are you trying to hit the fucking Mind traps? That honestly. Steps are the exception and not the rule. We have books, fam. Hey, can you avoid having a fucking heart attack? If that's all right. Oh my god. We can blow this and we're we're done. We can go home. We're close. We're very close. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. The ground quakes. Almost do it, guys. And honestly, once we've done it, we may as well camp and try to get um, the shield breakers thing. Big me. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. But it's you, dude. How could you be faithless? What about you? More protection? A disease. I think almost all of us are like too young. We just don't have any diseases yet. You know what? That's okay. Really, huh? Well, fuck. In the darkness. Stars I've loosely in the fallen into a pattern of doing two quests every time. So you know what? That's fine. Oh. Manslayer. And you shall taste the silence. We have claimed dominion over Uh, wow. So, hey, that's fucking Darkest Dungeon, everyone. Drunkest Dungeon, in fact. Uh, thank you for coming for my dumbass... Thank you for um, stopping by my stupid idea. I have a lot of fun here, even though this game does frustrate me. Perhaps more than I would be if I were sober. But you know what? I'm having fun. It's good to play. But I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all for coming. Have a good day, everyone.
I've been out for this been drunk as dungeon. Bye.